Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we began the raid on Shinra HQ. And made our way up to, way up to floor number 62. Where we got a new materia in the form of the elemental. In today's episode, we're going to go and continue our run through um, Shinra HQ. We're going to head up to another floor. Floor number 63. This place is another place that sucks. I almost never find out what to do here. Get my key card. The employee verified. You are permitted to open the door. Up to three times. If you can receive an item coupon, remember to exchange it for an item. Warning, do not enter the air conditioning uh, ducts. They are very dangerous. Mm, I'm feeling like a naughty boy. Let's go ahead and go on over here and open some of these doors up. Um, we can only enter, we can only open three, so remember that. So I think we're gonna want to open this one. Huh? Let's go ahead and explore this place. Requires me to use a key card. Um, requires me to open a door to get out. Um, I know you gotta use this one. There's one in there, one over here. Ah! Uh. We get the keep we get the A coupon. Let's climb. So I think we figured it out now. Um So like if you can figure your way out to the um air vent, you should be perfectly fine. Um that takes us back into there, but we don't wanna do that. You might come into here. Climb up this climb down this vent, which then takes us down here, we can get this one. We come out here, open this door, which then takes us into to get the last one. Yeah, we just got all three items. Very quickly. Did we? I think we did, though. This is my, oh god, I'm not, I'm not having short term memory loss. Let's go. We're gonna head on down. Uh, what the? Wait, what? There we go. Um, for some reason, it wasn't working for me. So now we are back down here. All clear. Uh oh, no. Keep on change. All right, we got all three. We got a star pendant, a four slot, and an all materia. So, let's go ahead and review all those items that we just got. Um, now, two of them are equipables. Well, one of them is an arm. Um, I do believe the mithril armlet is a little bit better because it gives us better defense if the exchange. But it, four slots gives us more magic defense if the exchange of physical. Um, but the cost on physical defense is much higher, and there's no and there's no um, there's no links, so you can't do anything with that. The star pendant is an item that, pro that protects against poison, which will be something that we will be encountering later on. I'm going to go on ahead and equip this cloud ASAP because we will be fighting poison enemies later on. And on that note, we got another <sighs> all materia. Alongside the elemental, which has the materia element to our equipped weapon or armor. The elemental. Do I want to equip it? If anyone's getting it, I believe it's gonna be. Oh my god. I don't think I wanna equip elemental just yet. 
Um, Tifa, I can give this other uh, wall materia to. And then we can. Um, now we have two healers, which will be perfectly fine. So, we are good for this floor. So let's go ahead and progress up another floor to floor number 64. Which it appears to be a gym room. So let's go ahead and uh, progress up here. And check all these blockers. They're all locked. We got a phoenix down for checking this one. Um, which would be really good. We get an ether from this one. On the inside. Locked. Locked. I believe it's in this back one. What's this? A megaphone. Hanging on to this won't do any good. Remember that for very, very late in the game. There will be a time where we can come back here, and that will be to the importance of us. Um, here we can take a rest, and we also have a save point over here. Let's get some rest. So yeah, we are now back at full health and MP as well. It's really good. Um, so now let's go ahead and pro let's progress up to floor number 65. <laughs> or we can go back down to floor number 63. Nah, I'm gonna come back up here to floor 64. Um, yeah, here. We have the Midgar Puzzles area. So, what this is... This whole thing... It's a puzzle. It's a, it's a city. It's a model of Midgar. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say here, but I can't speak today. So, don't help me. All right. So we got another one of these guys. Very easy to kill. And clouds it slapped again. Awesome. Okay, good. We had ourselves cured of fury status. So that's that's good. I was kind of getting tired of dealing with that. <laughs> so if we come in here, um, all of these chests are locked. Um, all except for one, which I believe happens to be, yep, this one. Midgar parts. So what we do is that once we get uh, each one, we place in any part of the model as we can, and once we um, insert one piece, another one will open. Your job is to find the one that opened, which in this case is this one. So, we just come back in here. Insert another part. So then open up... It, 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 I'm sorry, okay, I'm starting to sound redundant with this. But it, it, it's exactly what it seems like. We're just going through this entire place, getting the jar parts. That's pretty much it. it it's that easy. The worst part of this floor right here is just encountering the enemies. So... Final Fantasy VII up to this point. Luckily... Like, Midgar happens to be like the longest... Like, this part of Midgar happens to be like the longest, um... Part of the entire game. I, I want to say that this mission right here lasts far longer than the others that I'm aware of. It might not. But I don't want to call a single um, point. Oh god! No 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 no! We're not having any of this crap. Uh, wait. Walk on. Thank you. Cloud physical attack. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, um, this part right here. Is very long, Jesus Christ. Um, game, you just like to interrupt me, do you? But yeah, this part right here, pretty long. So, yeah. I mean, this is taking me for, like, ever. Um, <clears throat> and I want to say this is, like, the only part, or, like, the only mission that's going to take me, like, Honestly, this part's gonna take me up to three episodes. This is the second part of it. 
Um, there's an entirely different part to this place later on. Um, I'm not gonna say anything further, but yeah, there's more. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and mention here. I kind of like these guys. Um, oh, okay, we can just run away too. That's fine. Key card number 66, and here we are. It also seems the executives are having a meeting, so now we're just going ahead and um, come over here. Another executive meeting. That's not on this floor, I think. No, it is the next floor I'm thinking of. We're going to climb up. And we're going to eavesdrop on this executive meeting. Oh boy. I'll wait for this. So we're about to be um, introduced to a few new, like a couple new characters. We've seen some of them before. Jeez, that's a lot of suits. We have the damage estimates for Sector 7. Considering those factories we already set up and all the investments, that seems to be damage is, ex is estimated at approximately 10 billion gil. Jesus! The estimated cost to rebuild Sector 7 is... We're not rebuilding. What? What? We're leaving Sector 7 as it is. And we're restarting the Neo Midgar plan. In the Ancients, the promised land will soon be ours. I want you to raise the Mako rates 15% in every area. Please include our space program in the budget. That's... Reeve and Scarlet would divide the extra income from the rate increase. Good for you. Sir, if you raise the rates, the people will lose confidence. It'll be alright. The ignorant citizens won't lose confidence. They'll trust Shinra Inc. even more. Yeah, this place is all correct. Yeah, if you haven't noticed already, a big theme in this game is corruption. We're the ones who saved Sector 7 from Avalanche. Um, yeah, good for you guys. Now anyway, we're introduced to a new character here. Hojo. How's the girl? As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother. I'm still in the process of comparing her to her mother, Ifalna. But for now, the difference is 18%. How long will the research take? Probably 120 years. It's probably impossible to finish in our lifetime. Or in the lifetime of the specimen, too, for that matter. That's why we're thinking of breeding her. Then, we could create one that could withstand our research for a long time. What about the promised land? Won't it hinder our plans? That's what I need to plan. The mother is strong, and yet has her weaknesses. Okay. Um, Hojo, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes our meeting. Well then. Quite the exact meeting if we've ever seen one. And head down there, Scarlet. Say hi, Scarlet. Something is thinking. Wow. Th thanks a lot. That just... Great job. You were talking about Aerith, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow him. And down we go. <clears throat> Further into Shinra HQ. Anyway, let's say now the name of the game is Follow Hojo. He was, he's right there, oddly enough. We're gonna back ourselves to this wall right here. Hojo, huh? Game plan now is to go with the floor number 67. 
when Hojo awaits. Alright, floor number 67. I remember him. That Hojo guy. He's in charge of the Shinra Science Department. Cloud, don't you know him? This is the first time I've actually ever seen him. So that's what he looks like. This place has... This part right here has two um, important encounters that I want to run into. I want to run into at least five this one specific enemy and one in another. So... If you can just encounter this enemy, that'll be nice. Alright, here's one. There are two encounters here. And this is the one that I want to get five of. And we're just, we're just gonna go in and steal from him. That's all we're doing. And I'm gonna go in and heal up real quick. Oh, that is a waste. Crap. Anyway, we steal from these. We're gonna go in and steal from this guy. And from him. If you'll actually be nice for once. We can get. Nothing. Of course. Quit delaying the inevitable. Come on. I'm tired of mashing my X button. Wrong. Speed up. Ooh, I did a lot. All three of us are at limit breaks now. Jeez. A carbon bangle, and now we're killing this guy. Limit breaks away! Yeah, I wouldn't able to withstand that. Alright, so we got a carbon bangle. So now I'm gonna want to see you back once we get the fifth um once I get five of those guys and or encounter the other guy. See you guys then. Alright, we are back and we have encountered the second enemy that we want to steal from. Um the soldiers. These are these guys are actually very important. You remember that guy back in Sector Seven, back when we were about to um, go for the Sector Five reactor, and they said that soldier was going to be added to, um, to the police force. Yeah, they weren't kidding. These guys are actual members of Soldier, and we are actually fighting them. I also want to kill these guys right now because they have a ton of powerful magic that they can use, and I don't want and I don't want that being doubled on me. Also, cure away. Oh, I didn't even kill him. We'll get rid of this guy then, and we'll start stealing from the other. But yeah, these guys don't have a lot of MP either, so... That's a plus. And we also got the item already! That is the Hard Edge. That is a weapon for Cloud. And... A crazy strong one at that, so... I'm glad we were able to get it. So, now that we're... So, we're about to be done with this guy right here. Is the other one... No, the other one's not stopped. Um, I'm going to kill this guy already. He crit. I am surprised this guy still has any MP left. And that, that hurts. That's, that's the worst part. Anyway, I'll see you back when we get the other four carbon bangles. Alright, we are back. And we are inventory. One hard edge for cloud, and five carbon bangles. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shockingly, nothing was learned, which I'm very surprised of. And over here, we got Hojo himself. Is this today's specimen? Yes. We're starting right away. Raise it to the upper level. My precious specimen. Precious specimen? Is it going to be used for a biological experiment?
Genova. Cloud's freaking out. Genova. Severoths. So they've brought it here. Cloud, be strong. Did you see it? See what? It's moving. It's still alive. Where's its head? This whole thing's stupid. Let's keep going. we go. Further in the HQ. And over here, we got a new materia. The poison materia. A pretty useful materia for this part of the game. Uh, we're going to use one of these tents. And we're going to head up to floor number 68. Aerith. Aerith. Oh, is that her name? What do you want? We're taking Aerith back. Outsiders. Should have noticed it earlier, you. There's so many frivolous things in the world. Are you going to kill me? I don't think you should. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who could operate it? Hmm. That's right. I recommend you think things out logically before you make any rash moves. Now, bring in the specimen. Cloud, help! What do you think you are doing? Lending a helping hand to an endangered species. Both of them are on the brink of extinction. If I don't help, all these animals will disappear. Uh... Animal? That's terrible! Aerith is a human being! We're gonna pay. Barrett, can't you do anything? Alright, step back. Barrett Wallace, Destruction Incarnate. What are you doing? Oh, my precious specimens. You, you killed them. You're in. Probably the hoax or something. But I was thinking of something different. Because apparently the specimen just attacked me. Another chance to get Aerith. Thanks, Cloud. Cloud, what's wrong? The elevator is moving. This is no ordinary specimen. This is a very ferocious specimen. He's rather strong. I'll help you all out. It talked. I'll talk as, talk as much as you want later, miss. We'll take care of that monster. Somebody take Aerith somewhere safe. Alright, so who are we gonna get rid of now? Barrett or Tifa? We've seen Tifa for quite a while now, so we're gonna send her out of here. What's your name? Hojo has named me Red13. A name with no meaning whatsoever to me. Call me whatever you wish. However, because, um, Red 13 is your default name, that's your name too, buddy. Come on. And it is now boss time. So, it's Cloud Barrett and Newcomer Red 13 versus this guy right here. Um, 
This guy, oh, he, he's got some nasty opponents uh, to him. He loves poison. Also, the main reason why I told you not to get any fire materia back down at Walmart did earlier is because Red 13 comes with Walmart. Comes with, comes with Walmart. It. Wow, me. Comes with fire materia. Jeez. It also, Red 13 also comes with all materia, so that's even better. While you can target down um, these smaller enemies right here, um, if you don't get rid of the big guy first, he will respawn them all. Once you get rid of the big guy, they all die. So, while I go after the little ones, we can just take out this one right here now. Uh, Cloud has a limit break, so we'll go ahead and use Cross Slash. Um, also, that poison is taking a pretty big toll. Um, we inflict him with stock. Wow, okay. That's really, that's really good. Jesus. Um, let's go ahead and hit him with fire. Um, Cloud will take this opportunity to cast Cure. And we'll just continue attacking for 13, go for more fire. So, yeah, this is pretty much the entire name of the game. Hit, hit him with fire and. stay out the big guy. That's literally all you gotta do. The clock is level up. We have a Talesman. Aerith, you alright? He seems alright, in many ways. I have a right to choose, too. I don't like to like things. What are you? A good question. An informed question, but difficult to answer. I am what you see. You must have many questions. But first, let's get out of here. I'll lead the way. Cloud, so you did come for me. I apologize for what happened back there. I was merely acting to throw Hojo off guard. Now we've saved Aerith. Ain't no need to be in this building. So let's get the hell out of here. If all five of us go together, we'll be noticed. Let's break up in two groups. Alright, so what I'm going to do now before we go on and end off this episode is that I'm going to go on ahead and equip um, everyone with all the new items that we ended up getting. So, Carbon Bangle for Barret, Hard Edge for Cloud, that... Jesus Christ, that multiple... Jesus! A Carbon Bangle for Cloud, a Carbon Bangle for Red 13, because he comes with a Mithril on it. What we do now, we go to B for change party. We can equip Tifa and Aerith. We go into the menu, we do the same for them. Give Tifa a carbon bangle, and we'll also give Aerith a carbon bangle. And I think we'll also give Aerith the Talesman item, because that raises spirit, which is basically the magic stat. So, yeah. Slap that on Aerith, and we should be good. Um, I believe I want to use... Red 13 and Aerith. Um, before we do, we need to get rid of all the material that we want. Actually, I could do this on my own. Um, at least I got there in operation. Um, I want Aerith. And I believe we are ready. We want to turn materia. And exchange. We'll take all the materia off of Barrett and Tifa. Yeah, oh, Red 13 also comes with a sense materia. So if you didn't get one back in um, Sector 5, Sector 6 Park, now will be an opportunity to get that. I think I'll leave Red 13 as he is. Aerith will equip with. Um, let's go ahead and give Aerith. Poison's not a good material to give her. Um, 
Lightning. All. Make us restore. Lightning. Ice. And yeah, we're just left on poison to get measure. Uh, uh, cloud should be good as before. Now that Cloud has more elemental, uh, has more slots. And it's like cover there. Let's also give Cloud another lightning and a lightning and an ice material. Because why not? And with that done, we got ourselves a new party member. We made our way to the very top, to near the top of Shinra, uh, the Shinra building. On the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. We're getting out of here. See you guys then.